Solar One Nine tutorial, and in this tutorial, we are going to create the multi-vendor e-commerce website, and uh, we are merging the admin panel template. We have seen in last video we able to merge the dashboard. Okay, so this is the dashboard for our admin. We are going to update this dashboard from time to time. We are going to add all the features here, like products, uh, orders users everything will come up here in left sidebar we are going to modify this but the design will remain the same structure will remain the same header footer sidebar okay so only thing that will update the content will update middle content will update these items will update okay so main content and links will update okay so we are going to merge the login page as well and this dashboard also uh, we will uh, update its route uh, so that we can have the common route group for both for dashboard or for all the admin pages okay so later on also we are going to add the authentication uh, for our dashboard route so that no one can able to assess this dashboard or any other admin panel file okay so let's start uh, first thing is we are going to create the uh, login out but before that we are going to check uh its design uh we are going to check the login design okay in our template i will go to my template and inside the template folder uh there is the pages folder and uh let's see where are the forms and tables uh, not in inside this one uh, I think it's inside the pages and then inside the samples and then login okay so this is the uh, admin login page that we want to integrate in our laravel e-commerce website in our laravel 9 multi vendor e-commerce website we want to integrate such an admin login page okay so for that we are going to create its route okay i um, create its route uh, so uh, we are going to create in the same way like we have created the route earlier for the dashboard admin dashboard now we are going to create the, the admin route uh, for uh, the admin uh, here I'm going to specify admin login route without admin group okay later on we will add inside the admin group so this command is to remind us that we need to modify this code later on okay so that that is for the developers admin login so if you will put such commands then you will never forget that what you are required to do in future controllers admin and inside admin controller we are going to create one file and that will be called as login what happened here it's uh, getting slow now it's fine okay so this is the route for our login and we are going to create inside the admin controller here in the same way public function login and return view inside admin folder in resources view we are going to create one login.blade.php file inside that we are going to add the content for the login okay so uh, we are going over to our file structure here inside resources views admin here it is resources views admin like dashboard is there we are going to create one new file new terminal folder touch login dot play dot php okay so this file has been created in windows you know how to create the files inside go inside the folder and right click so you create the new notepad file rename that file to this extension login dot play dot php okay so now i'm going to open this file login dot play dot php so now we have the dashboard file as well we can put uh, we can include the admin design so this uh, you are required to put 
in every file but uh, this is the login blade file i don't think in login blade file we are required to put any kind of header and footer you can see here there is no added header and footer so it's not required okay it is only required for all the files that are inside the admin okay so don't do that okay so now we can straight away uh, put the code from uh, that login html file okay here it is login html so uh, we can simply uh, open it here i am going to copy this one complete uh, from here to this login blade file like this okay i'm going to save this one and we'll try to open in here i'm going to give it path like dashboard i'm going to give the login and see the css and style is not coming uh, so see here uh, so we can see some of the paths are here we are going to check our uh, layout file if the layout file is matching with this one we can uh, simply upgrade those but i think uh, it will not match because it's the login blade file and it does not uh, uh, if we will compare with the dashboard file we can compare with that one like login and dashboard we can check the header and footer will not match we can check once for the confirmation okay uh, there is one more file here index so I'm, i will go to the template and we'll check the index.html file here it is i will bring this file to check that whether it is having the common header and footer and if it is having the common header and footer then we're going to use the uh, those one okay so let's see uh, see uh, see everything is not matching there is a lot of difference between these two files so uh, we will not include we will just correct the pass here okay uh, so uh, here uh, we can check the paths here we can go and inspect here and we can check the paths are wrong here okay we can check see the it is not matching see slash vendors uh, slash css so we can check what is this file structure what is the path structure for our files so we need to do like this uh, public we need to check the file structure public then admin then it will come okay so admin is missing here we can see vendor css but here admin is missing admin vendor css okay so i think admin is missing for all folders so and what we can do here we can use we need to use that url as well url that we use uh, for our uh, laravel structure structure okay we can now cut this one and put it here in the same way oh, we will do for all like this and also we uh, need to add the admin here all the files we are required to update like this and also at last here for CSS as well for images as well are some other files that we are required to update okay so now we are going to check here and see some issue has come uh, we need to check where is the issue uh, syntax error on specter single c uh the fonts are really good in laravel 9 okay for the first time i'm checking the error in laravel 9 okay so this is the error layout and i'm a uh, little bit uh, surprised that it's looking really beautiful and there are 
few other things okay we can share the error as well okay so for the first time we are checking the error in laravel okay so it has the sidebar as well oh that's great okay this one we will explore later on okay so let's come to the error uh, so have we have missed i think something here uh, in this line we have missed some syntax uh, okay so in the beginning 77th line uh, we have missed the, the url okay so this one this one we are going to include for all fine and now we are going to check now it is showing fine and still the it is showing some of the error in some of the fonts and the fonts also we need to get it okay and for getting the fonts we need to check it admin fonts okay so uh, we need to pick up the fonts as well here it is fonts i am going to copy this fonts inside admin folder and now we are going to check refresh and now it seems to be fine and still there is one issue with one of the file admin slash admin vendors js so uh, it's the template issue only we are having all the files now okay so uh, and also we will check the dashboard once but check the login once okay so it seems to be fine this is the login page for our admin panel okay we are going to modify this later on okay we will make it dynamic as well and we'll modify it with, uh, as per our own requirement and also we are going to check the dashboard once so this is the dashboard page we are going to check if there is any issue here for our dashboard it seems to be fine okay so it seems to be fine so that's fine and only thing that we are required to do now we will update their routes okay so now we are going to use the route group both for dashboard and uh, for the dashboard file for the login as well okay for the route group and for the admin route group so for that i'm going to use a route no need to write so much code every time like these pass admin slash or this one app has to be we will do it once and all the routes will pick up automatically here we are going to prefix admin because admin is required for all the routes links okay admin route links and we are going to add the namespace namespace that is required to so that we are not required to include this for all okay so we are going to copy this one like this and after that group function group function so this is our route group and uh, we are going to remove this admin first we are going to cut this one and put them inside also admin login route so this one is not required login only and admin controller this one also not required so for the dashboard as well uh, we are just required to add admin dashboard route and this one is not required and this one also not required only admin controller dashboard fine so now it seems to be fine and for uh, admin login route we required both get and uh, post so we will use match here and inside match uh, we are going to add here get as well as post fine so now uh, we are going to refresh it and we'll check if both the routes are working okay so both are uh, sorry this not this one we are going to see admin dashboard and login 
see both are working fine okay so these two blade files these two pages design are ready okay so in next video we are going to start working dynamically on these pages and this dashboard page we will not show uh, see we will add the authentication we will start working on the authentication and uh, we will start working on the multi or auth okay so multi auth we will use guards for admins and also for vendors okay for admins sub admins and for vendors we are going to use the guards and default auth we are going to use uh, for users okay so in next video we will continue working on this one so please stay tuned for that and if you have any queries then please ask me please uh, write uh, in comments okay so do subscribe the channel and if you have not subscribed yet do subscribe for updates and uh, do join the channel if you want to get the complete laravel e-commerce website that we have done in laravel 8 website okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye